Good morning, folks. I just took off from uh, my boat site this morning here about uh, 30 minutes ago. I'm heading up northwest arm. I'm hoping to find an island that's on Obika Bay, I think it's called. Anyway, there's an island there, but there's a kind of a shoal area I've got to go through. It's been raining heavy this morning, still no sun. I was down to 15% on my solar, which is not good, but uh, we'll hope for some Sunday days. I've been praying for that, and uh, hopefully it'll come through. We need to get our solar up, or I'm gonna have to use backup batteries, and I hate to do that if I don't need to. So anyway, we'll check back with you in a little bit. All right, folks, we're coming up on Birch Narrows. It's supposed to be pretty shallow water, so we'll be going very slowly through here. Just past a group of four canoes, some of them with as many as four people in it, which seems a little bit of a crowd to me in one canoe, but I guess with a big canoe you probably can get away with that. There's supposed to be a nice island boat site, particular inlet. It's called uh, Obabika Inlet. Uh, is also on, on a canoe route. Obviously those canoes came out of there. So we're hoping to uh, not have any trouble finding it. Shouldn't. It's well marked on the map. All right, we'll start slowing down a little bit here so I don't get hung up on a rock. It's supposed to be uh, another campsite just to our left here someplace. I just saw one uh, back there ways, and now there should be another one on the left here. All right, we'll slow down and keep an eye out on that for that campsite and rocks. It's not a real wide area of rock, or uh, I should say shoal but we'll try to hit right in the middle as much as we can and shorten the exposure to shoal water. It's not marked, which is interesting, so that must mean that it's not as shallow as uh, it might be. All right, we should be coming up on the shallower water. Got 46 feet though, so maybe it's not accurate. No, it's coming up. But we should be hitting shoal water right here, and we're still 46 feet. 40 feet, tents, people at that campsite, 38 feet. I think it's a false depth here. 36 feet, 34 feet. sun today, Lord, I pray. Clear the skies. Got a narrow through here. Some leaf change. Not real bright, though. All right, coming into a narrow spot again. Move slowly through here. Shouldn't be any obstructions, but we just want to make sure. 29 feet, plenty deep. 29, 30 feet. Should be a campsite coming up on our right. Check that out. Should be on that little point on our right there that you can see. Still 20 feet through here. We'll edge a little closer to the left. It's deeper over there. Well, I don't see a campsite, but might be on the other side of the point. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, let's see, which way do we go here? Well, let's try this direction, I guess. It says there's show water in here, but both sides still show water, so we'll just have to guess, see which way to go here. We'll go ahead and kind of hug the island. That's an island off to our right, not the one we're going to camp on but it is another one. Close by though, it's just on the other side of this, about a mile away here. All right, got 30 feet. Should be plenty deep for a ways here yet. 25 feet. The shoal draft part of it's gonna be down by this, the end of the island. We'll make a right turn there around that point there at the end of the island here on the right hand side. I'm still 30 feet here, so we're good. Well, it was misting again. Right now it feels like it's okay though. I'm not a little worried about that P2 camera up on the bow because it's not designed to, it's not waterproof. 
can stand a little mist, but that's about all. So, so I don't want to get it wet. I got it setting right on the bow, so if there's any rain, it will get wet. All right, we're coming up on our our shoal area. There's the island, I think, over there that I'm we're going to end up camping on. And I don't see a boat or anybody there. That's a good thing. Been fortunate so far with as many boats as out here. I, I'm not seeing the conflict with the sites that I did up on uh, Namakan and Cabotogama Voyagers National Park. That place had a crowd all the time. Still showing 25 feet, but our shoal area is coming up here now. So try to head right like this for now. It looks okay. 12 feet. Okay, we're coming up. Slow way down. 15 feet. I'm not seeing bottom yet, but 16 feet, 18 feet, 22. I sh should be hitting the shoal area right now, but I'm still on 25, 26 feet. I don't know. These shoals are not as accurate as I thought they would be. Yeah, I don't think it's there because we're over the shoal area now. So all these cabins that are along in here are abandoned. There's nobody here, for, I guess, end of the season for most of these people. Okay, we're out of the shoal area. And I'm not sure if that island is the right one. I think that island there, uh, yeah, that's not the island. It's the next one up, I think. Yeah, it's further up along the way here. Oh, that's it, that's it. Oh, that is the island. Okay, where do I want to be though? I want to land on this side or, or is there a place on the other side? Let's look, let's take a look and see. Big log there. So there must be either a lot of current or stuff through here. Looks like somebody left something there. It's supposed to be a shoal in here too, so take a look on the back side. See if there's a spot that we can tie up on the back side here so we're not exposed to the wind. There's not that much open area, but still rocks are a little sharper on this side. 64 degrees water temperature. Actually, 63.5. It's a little colder than before. Almost too cold to swim. All right, I don't know if I can go through here or not. We're going to just try it. But it says there's shoal water in here, but I'm showing 22 feet. But we'll have to be careful. I'm just trying to see if there's a spot here on the back side that I can. Looks like the smoothest rock is on the other side, so I may have to go over there anyway. Well, I don't know. There's maybe a spot right there. Somebody cut up a bunch of firewood. All right, let's try that. We're going to turn around and try this spot. Looks like there would be a spot there, but we'll see what it looks like when we get in closer. Okay, the wind is from my right. Let's go ahead and move in there now. And I'm going to try to... out for my camera. Make sure the rope is on the right side. All right, that's pretty good.
good evening folks uh, I'm setting inside because it's still kind of gloomy outside with rain threatening cloudy weather not much to do outside I could set up on the hill and just kind of watch for wildlife I did that last night but I don't know I'm just uh, getting a little discouraged with the bad weather we've had really all week it's been cloudy and rainy I had the, I think the first half day on my departure from White Bear Lake was kind of sunny and clear, uh, but it clouded up later in the afternoon and it's stayed that way ever since. And unfortunately, when I look at the forecast, it's not much better for the next four days. I've got a little sun on Tuesday, I think. It doesn't look good. It's more rain, more clouds, and it's just, uh, since I'm based on solar, I'm going to be in a problem here pretty quick because... Uh, I do have a backup lithium-ion battery, and I used some of that today, though, to bring up the primary to about 45%, make sure I'd have plenty of power overnight. And I messed around a little bit today trying to figure out if I could use the engine underway, but I'm not sure if there's enough amperage on the uh, alternator that's on that engine. Um, we'll see. Uh, I was able to hook it up finally. I'd, I made a few errors when I first started because I try to hook it into the solar system without switching over to a DC uh, input uh, for a car type outlet. Uh, you got to do that first before you hook up and I didn't do that and caused a fault in the system but it cleared itself so I fortunately didn't do any damage. But I'm, I'm at the point here where uh, over the next few days I'm going to have to consider cutting the trip short if I don't get better weather because uh, I'm not going to be able to keep the uh, food cold and uh, it's going to spoil eventually. Uh, I can keep whittling down uh, and maybe tr switch over stuff that's in the freezer uh, for the last four or five, six days. I can make that stretch a while, but not forever. And uh, so I've got to look at the timeline and figure out how long I can keep food and how long I can keep power going because... Uh, my lithium ion backup is, uh, gives me about one and a half fills of the primary system. And uh, the primary is about a 1500 watt system. And so I can get that filled about one and a half times. That'll give me several days, but uh, eventually I'll run out if I don't have any sun. So I'm contemplating that, trying to figure out what to do next. Um, even tomorrow, I was going to stay here maybe another day, but because there's several portages around here that you could kayak into smaller lakes. That would be kind of uh, fun to do, but it's going to rain tomorrow. <laughs> what are you going to do? You know, it, you know, I'm not that gun ho to go hiking in the rain, so, or kayaking in the rain for that matter. That's not going to happen. So I may go up and look at a couple of sites that are a little bit to the west here of where I'm at, uh, just so I know for future use if I ever come back. And then head back down the lake and, and eventually head down to the southwest uh, arm of the lake, which is what were, that was my goal. However, I, I keep running into, I wanted to come up into the northwest arm because I hadn't been here before. And uh, now I'm just wondering if I can even spend much time down in the southwest. But well, we've got several days left yet before things are going to have to get critical, but we'll see what happens. So tonight I think I'll just read some books or uh, listen to music, find something to do in the cabin because it's just too dreary outside to do much of anything. Well, there you go. Um, wished I had better news to pass on and better pictures because uh, with everything being cloudy and dreary, it's hard to get good pictures too. No sunsets, no sunrises, uh, no s pictures of the stars, nothing like that. So... And I haven't been seeing much of in the way of wildlife, a few things, but nothing uh, significant. No moose, no deer, no bear, not even any otters so far. We'll keep our eyes open and hopefully we'll see something. So good night for now, folks.